Hey guys, Retro Badger here. What you see here is a new Galaxy Class variant. It has been completely overhauled and upgraded compared to the original Galaxy Class. It's equipped with armor, multiple photon launchers, and even has the ability to fire quantums. Information from Voyager's encounters with the Borg were implemented in its design. Starfleet designated these ships as Borg Patrol Specialists. At the first sign of a Borg signal, these will be scrambled. According to the backstory, there were four of these made, so I think we should send four of them against a Borg fleet and see what happens. It's great to see the Galaxy class still being developed on. I really like this design. I mean, the Galaxy class is a very good design. It's massive. There's definitely plenty of room for upgrade, especially with weapons. You've got all that room. Think of all the torpedo launchers you could equip and phaser arrays. So here are quantums, and we have photon torpedoes as well. Wow, look at that. So yeah, this ship definitely has some pretty impressive armor on it. You can see that. I'm not so sure about the warp nacelles though. I think you could argue that might be a bit of armor there, perhaps, to reinforce it slightly. You can find multiple phases there. I also like it how it's named the Yamato A. I think that's really cool. As it was terrible what happened to the Yamato, wasn't it? Really shocking. Have we done it? So Starfleet's rapid reaction anti-Borg force was victorious. Hmm. Let's try a bigger target. Okay, well, I thought we'd try it against the Borg tactical cube. Now, I don't think for one moment these ships could defeat an assimilation cube. They couldn't. It's just impossible. But a tactical cube, I mean, we saw Voyager engaging a tactical cube for as long as it liked and somehow managed to escape and get away. Although we could argue the Borg Queen didn't want to destroy Voyager because Seven of Nine was on there. She said that once. But who knows? The Tactical Cube does have a higher rating than the standard Borg Cube. It has more weaponry and the hull is a bit more tougher. The hull's rated at 300,000, I believe, for the Tactical Cube, where the normal Borg Cube is at 200,000. The Simulation Cube, though, <laughs> I dread to think what that is. Okay, so we're not doing too bad here. This is a Borg tactical cube after all, and we're not exactly a large fleet. Oh, I wish we could call for reinforcements in this. Oh, look at all those quantums flying in. That's so cool. And this is the great thing about Bridge Commander Remastered. We're getting more and more new ships added to it all the time. And the game is very stable. And fluid as well. It works so much better on modern systems. Can we do this? We're so close here. I I can almost taste victory. Oh no. The other ship's been destroyed. If we fly closer, will we be in the blind spots perhaps? They're not firing at us. Oh, look at that. Are we too close for them to target us? Or are we in a blind spot, I wonder? This is good. Oh no! They heard me! Maybe that tactical cube encounter in the Delta Quadrant, they learned some valuable information. Of course, Seven of Nine as well. Her knowledge would be absolutely invaluable. Now I think about it. Could that be the reason why Voyager tended to do not too bad against the Borg? On occasion. Oh gosh, I don't like this. It's too close, this. I'm taking some serious damage now. Oh, 
Oh, no, no, no! So close! Well, either way, I think the Yamato A proved itself in combat. It is a very capable ship, and I would highly recommend this. It's currently available on Gamefront, so check it out. Well, thanks for watching, guys. Bye for now.